Good evening. My name is Charlie McDougald, and I will be presenting the scientific explanation of Hurricane Katrina and the origin of it as a storm and a hurricane. Oceanography, Mr. Gatfield, period 7. It all began off the coast of the Bahamas. The warm, moist air at a temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit rising from the ocean surface condensed, creating a system of thunderstorms. This condensation released the heat that warmed the atmosphere and caused more warm air to rise, creating a cycle that moved the heat from the ocean to the atmosphere, creating a quote-unquote wheel of wind. While feeding on wind and heat, it created Katrina. The evaporation of abundant water from the ocean allows condensation in the storm, releasing the latent heat stored since evaporation, thus fueling continued storm power. Shallow coastal waters commonly lack cold water that can diffuse storm power making the hurricane more powerful as it approaches shore because it took all the heat from the water, making it a massive storm slash hurricane and reaching a Category 5 over the warmest water off the coast of Louisiana. Most hurricanes spend their time over the open ocean and die out on their own. But in this case, it was bound for the coast of the United States and the Gulf. While the hurricane classified as Category 1 moved into the Gulf over, the, over Florida as a thunderstorm, the water was warm enough to sustain the hurricane to a Category 5 and sustained winds of 160 miles an hour and a storm surge of about 40 feet tall, which is waves. It fell to Category 4 with sustained winds of 150 miles per hour when it approached, when it approached the land, devastating the coast and inland areas of Louisiana. The eye of the hurricane made landfall on Louisiana near Barras Triumph after several sections of the levee system in New Orleans had collapsed. The storm surge breached the levee system, protecting New Orleans from the, from the neighboring lakes and the Mississippi River. Hurricane Katrina also caused heavy damage along the coasts of Mississippi and Alabama, but more importantly, all of Louisiana. Topogra topographically, much of New Orleans lies well below sea level, making it more susceptible to, to scenarios such as hurricanes, and in this case, Hurricane Katrina itself. Seawater gained access to the city through canals, and, uneasy, and, and an uneasy balance between the sea and New Orleans was maintained by roughly 350 miles of levees. Levees are embankments built to prevent the overflow of rivers. The only thing left after the hurricane died down and eventually died off after having nothing left to sustain it was his path of destruction that rattled the states of Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. Its main source and fueling it was warm water over the Gulf and over the Bahamas. It moved from a direction of over Florida to west, up to the northwest, and then curving back up to the northeast, uh, dying off in the middle of the states. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this explanation of Hurricane Katrina and its impact that it had on Louisiana and the states and how sheer of a force it was. Have a great day.